Right, you guys. So we're just about done sautéing. Um, we have it as the nice translucent. Translucent kind of means see-through. See-through or soft. Make sure it's soft. Make sure it's not brown, okay? You don't want to burn the garlic or the onions. And again, ask an adult for help on this. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some sauce. Now we're going to add all our ingredients. Of course, number one, take your jar of sauce and you add it. And I have an adult do this, okay? I would do it underneath the sink because it usually spiders. You pour your sauce in the saucepan, okay? All right, now you see you still have a little bit of sauce left. Just add a little bit of water, just rinse it out just a little bit, get the rest of the contents of the sauce out, and pour it in there. And then, what you add is salt. I will go with three dashes, one, two, and three, okay? Black pepper. Let's go five times, five twists. One, two, three, four, five, okay? I like to add oregano, which gives a lot of flavor. Oregano leaves, okay. Let's go two. Two. Let's go two dashes. Of course, everything is to your liking. One and two. Let's let's do three. So you don't have to. So you can do without the oregano if you wanted to. You don't have to. That's optional. But and then this? salt. I mean, uh, sugar. I'm sorry. If this is optional, I like to do it because it takes the acidity out of the tomato. And it makes it, it a little, little, little bit sweeter. sweeter. All right. So I would do just one teaspoon. One okay? teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon and of that sugar. That is our trick. All right. And then also, last ingredient, I'm going to throw some basil leaves in there. Let's go with... Three shoes. Three... Uh, it's not open. Oh, it's not open. Sorry. Not open. Not open this. So we'll do a couple of shakes of that. Um, so... Little fun fact is that we are um, Italian, from an Italian heritage, and I believe when my dad was younger, um, even when I was little too for a while, um, they would... The basil, I'm sorry. Basil, so let's do a couple, couple of dashes. Homemade, they made homemade sauce. They would okay. do it old school, and when, they would make their own sauce. When you add all the ingredients, just make sure you stir it, okay? So stir it up, put it on uh, like a low heat. I would put it, I think every stove has a number, put it like number three. Okay, like a low heat, a little bit less than medium, okay? You stir it all up, and then just cover it, all right? This should take about 20 minutes, but I suggest in about five to seven minutes, stir it up again, give it a taste. If it needs more salt or any spices, you add to it. Okay, you can always add, uh, so it's to your liking. You can add uh, more ingredients if you like. If not, then you leave it the way it is for about 20 minutes to 25 minutes. So you want to check it every five minutes. Every five. Just give it a nice way. stir. Always stir it because it's important. You don't want the tomato sauce to get burnt, burnt on the bottom. All right, so we will be stirring. Um, then we'll taste it. And we will meet you back here in a few minutes. All right, you guys. I've been stirring periodically every five minutes. Um, and right now it seems like it's just about done. Yes, another two more minutes. Make sure you then you just put your put it on low. Let it cook on low for a good total cooking time is about 20 minutes to a half hour. Okay, so so um, he's going to turn it off and... In about two minutes. Now, what, what I like to do is, this is what I like to do. I like to grab a spoon, okay, and just taste the sauce to your liking. Of course, just be careful it's hot, all right? No double dipping. No double dipping. Look, blow on, make sure it gets nice and cool. That's good. I like it like that. And that's it. Then you rinse out your spoon, just clean it up. Okay, put it right back. No double dipping, exactly. Now, um, I put it on low, another five minutes, and your sauce is done, as you can see. Now the so, sauce really once nice. it's done, nice and thick. you want it to cool down, and then you can put it in some containers. You can freeze it if you want. You can put it in your fridge. Um, you could have it now, so if you have any leftover meatballs, you can put some meatballs in there. Um, if you have pasta, you can make pasta. And 
Just have spaghetti, meatballs, and pasta um, you can add on with your chicken, sauce. Add it on your chicken cutlets with mozzarella. You can make a you chicken cutlet parmesan. On, that's right. You could do. There's really a lot that you can do with the sauce. Um, you can freeze it and save it for next time. Like I said before, there's really a lot of ways that you're able to repurpose food and use it over and over for different meals. Um, and especially right now with not being able to go out that much, you want to make sure that you're utilizing every ingredient that you have as much as possible. Um, so that being said, we are done making sauce. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for being my guest, Dad. You're welcome. Anytime. And I will hopefully see you guys soon. Stay safe. And I will speak to you guys very, very soon. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye.